you have some of my genes as well. Right? Look at you. Yes. Like what? Your hairline? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Dad. And you must think I have a lot of challenges in my life, a lot of hardships. What with me being colorblind and having a hairline like this? I want to share some of my challenges with you. All the science graduates here, do you guys remember this very stupid experiment in chemistry called titrations? <laughs> when you had to keep pouring a liquid into a funny looking flask till the color of the mixture changed? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have to do that experiment. <laughs> Final exam, I approached my external evaluator and told her that I'm colorblind. So instead of asking me chemistry related questions, she asked me questions like, Does the world look black and white to you? How do you get by in your everyday life? What color kind of dress am I wearing? That's how I clear chemistry. <laughs> An engineering college, a friend of mine had a huge crush on this beautiful girl. But he was too chicken to propose to her directly. So he wrote a love letter. And he wanted me to give that girl his love letter. Now, I hadn't seen the girl, so I was a little hesitant to do this. But he was my friend. I had to do it for him. Now, the plan was real simple. She was sitting in the canteen, she was wearing a brown top. All I had to do, all I had to do was find her, give her the letter, and walk out. Easy. I walked into the canteen, found that girl in brown, gave her the letter, and walked out. Now my friend's waiting outside, nervous. He wants to know if the girl was excited. I said, you know, man, I think she's into you. I think she's going to talk to her. He walked in with all this nervous excitement and he came back two minutes running furious at me. Turns out, I gave the letter to a girl wearing green. <laughs> and she was so excited, she said yes instantly. <laughs> Talk about giving the wrong number. My friends never asked me for a favor after that. My friends and I, we hang out a lot. We go to new places. We, we like talking to girls and maybe get their number. <laughs> I get a lot of numbers. <laughs> Not because I'm handsome. Now my friends have not been able to figure out what is it that I tell these girls that makes them want to talk to me so much. I'll tell you guys. <laughs> I say hi, make small talk. And I slowly slip in the fact that I'm colorblind, and that's it. <laughs> Every girl that I've said this to till now has gone nuts. They all want to know how the world looks to me. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm Mr. Interesting. I thank God for making me colorblind. The, uh, the time I here just showed me a color card. <laughs> Thank you.